I know. Just left from down here. Just left from down here. What's going on? It's about life in the shop. I'm your host, Donald Watson. Yesterday, October 31st, Halloween, Chicago West Side 2022. I'm getting 14 people shot. Ages are ranging from 3 to 56 years old. Now, I know what y'all saying. Like, yo, are y'all out trick-or-treating at 9.30 p.m.? No, they're going to say that this was a vigil. All right, I'm going to bring you guys the story. I'm also bring you guys... Check it out out here, what I see. First thing I see out here in California, Polk. Yep, yep. That's the first thing I see. There's a camera out there. So, this was a vigil. At first, I'm like, yo, y'all still trick-or-treating at 9.30? You know, trick-or-treat should be wrapping up about 8, but this was not that. They were actually at a vid vigil. Um, I'm also bring you guys. Rapper Takeoff. From Migos, only 28 years old, shot dead in Houston. I want to bring you guys what the people are saying, not exactly. I got what TMZ said, and I got also other people um, claiming to have the story. So I'm going to bring you guys that on what other people are saying. A lot of people are saying, yo, he had nothing to do with nothing. He, they, they're saying, um, take off, never said a word to anyone. He was just chilling in the cut. Minding his own business. He stood up to see what was happening. And I can show you guys that picture. That's the picture where he just stood up to see what's happening. Alright. So I'm going to bring you guys what the people are saying. Then I'm going to bring you guys on what TMZ is saying. You know. So I always love to go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. To see what the people who were there. What you know their stories on what they got to say about it. Um. And a lot of times you get some of the same stories. Sometimes you get different stories. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys that. Deion Sanders. Man, you know what? Football brings a lot of discipline. And I love football coaches. Good football coaches. Sometimes you get some not so good ones. But a lot of times, man, there's a lot of good discipline that come with football. And Deion Sanders released, hey, y'all not leaving this hotel tonight. Y'all not leaving. And he also gave a speech that I want to bring you guys. And one of the things he iterated in that speech is, hey, man, y'all are professionals now. Y'all go into a different spot in your life. You cannot no longer hang with the people you used to hang with. When you become a business professional, when you want to go somewhere in your life and make changes and be something, he said you got to change your address. Not only do you got to change your address, you got to change the people you hang with. Anyway, let's get to this story. Mass shooting. Chicago did a label in it a mass shooting. And they're going to put it in a box. It's just that. The saying police state that there are 14 victims as well as one woman struck by a vehicle. These youngsters do not care. Three-year-old, 56-year-old, they spraying and they shooting everybody. They got these clips, these switches on these guns, making them automatics. And they just spraying up everyone. During last uh, incident in East Garfield Park, three victims are children, including a three-year-old boy who are all in serious condition. A 37-year-old man is also in critical condition. Um, the other victims, adults between 31 and 56. This is why it's a state of emergency in our communities. This is why we must, we cannot vote our way out. I know November 8th, y'all think, some of y'all think that we could just vote our way out this um, situation, we've been voting the same way forever with the same conditions in our community has not changed. So we cannot vote our way out. The only people that's going to change it is guess what? Yes, the people inside the community. And if the people inside the community, don't matter whether you're innocent or not. Three-year-old, 56-year-old, don't matter. They shooting you too. They will shoot you too. Please state that the group were attending a vigil when two occupants of the dark SUV opened fire. It's cold and no silence. This is why it does not work. To me, 
And what these youngsters have to realize is that you're worse than the Ku Klux Klan. You are an enemy, if not worse, than they are. You are detriment to the community. You are enemy to your own community and should be treated as such. Until we figure that out, we will forever lose. No one's in custody. Gee, who's surprised? Who's surprised when there was a camera right there? One man, 48, was struck in the head. Critical condition. One Tuesday, police said a news release, second man, 37. Who shot in the torso? Critical condition. Three-year-old. Uh, mind you, all these people got families, friends, kids, children they need that need them. Um, Three-year-old boy was shot. Both legs. Three. Both legs. And the other two children, 11 and 13, were also in serious condition. Fifth, uh, the 15th person um, was just struck by the vehicle, by a vehicle, while attempting to flee from the scene. So they're not counting the 15 victim. Um, let's take a look at the scene. This is it. Uh, well, the corner. And so that's the camera right there. Check it out. California poke right there. Right there. So I'm going to kind of just scroll it around. Beautiful little mural right there on the wall. Anyway. Um. Newspapers all over the world picked this up. CNN said 14 people, including three children. By 9.30 p.m. before the vehicle was uh, California Avenue in Polk, 9.30 p.m. Two people traveling in a dark SUV, open fire, Halloween night. Three victims. More than 500 mass shootings has happened. 500 mass shootings. Count was 573 as of Tuesday, average of 1.8 mass shootings. Um, as many as 100 high school age students were at the home. Whenever, this is something else. Um, also, Monday night, a person was killed and uh, as many as six injured in a shooting at a Halloween party in Kansas City. Kansas City, also, something like that. Mass shooting. And it's just guns, 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 flood the community with guns, guns, guns. Anyway, the Migos. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the video. There's a video before they um before they went into the club. Slide through the town. Now we get down. You got the birthday boy with me. Yeah, also. Yeah, we on the fifth. Yeah, the field board. Hey, this motherfucker, now I got one for you now. I got a 6 1 coming. So, allegedly, that was them out um, Fifth Ward in uh, Houston, Texas. Fifth Ward was made famous by the Ghetto Boys. Ghetto Boys. All right, y'all. Anyway, so they're going to say, people are going to say, take off. Never said a word to nobody. He stood up to see what's what. And that's why Deion Sanders is saying, hey, man, when you get to a certain point, if you want to go to a certain point, man, you know, and, and even now I got partners from the streets, man, from my old days. And all of them was like, yo, man, where you at? What's up, homie? Man, come kick it this, that, and the third. And, man, when you when you get to a certain age in your life and you got a family, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you don't. Granted, you can love them, but love them from afar, man. And, and, and something just this silly, this, just, this, as I Dice game. Come on, man. I die. So this was text messages. This was somebody claiming to be at the scene allegedly. So this is what they're going to say. They're going to say, so Quavo was shooting dice and he was getting his, getting his pockets broke off so bad. Dude had a whole attitude and got aggressive with the wrong mob. They're going to say somebody then um, they was with jumped up and they was aggressive. 
and that they and, and jumped up, and that's when everybody bunched up. Then shots just started ringing, but they were coming from somebody from Migos was with, but he was shooting wild and hit takeoff on accident. And the other cats they were with, and the other cats started shooting back. And I think he got hit again, but ultimately his own people killed him because when he got hit the first time, somebody said, I saw his body just drop. They're saying Quavo was plexed over um, some small ish. It really wasn't worth it. Takeoff was the coolest, quietest person in the room. Um, they're saying. So, man, a lot of states have a law to where if you with your partners and you pull out a gun and you start it and they shoot back and hit your partner, you could be charged with homicide uh, of your partner. Even though if you started it, that means you caused his uh, shooting. So, man, so over a dice game. Two, three, four hundred dollars, two, three, four thousand dollars. Lives are ruined because of what? Um, they're gonna say he wasn't saying a word, just chilling in the cut. That's what everybody keeps saying. Um, he just got shot out of nowhere. Houston for sure about to be no fly zone because mob uh, is supposed to be protecting the, the artists. Uh, if you guys. Uh, remember, I did a story on uh, Duke the Jeweler. I believe that was also in Houston. So, this is the story. I'm also bringing you guys what TMZ had to say. St. Law Enforcement said uh, sources, multiple witnesses, failure went down shortly after 2 a.m. That's when the cops were called. They got the 911 tape, but the 911 tape didn't really say nothing. Just a cop saying shots fired, Blasey Skippy. Woo! Just a couple hours before the shoot and take off, posted a pic of himself lighting up in the bowling alley. Quavo had posted several hours earlier as he drove around Houston. Um, now, wait a minute. They saying it was Jazz Prince who was celebrating his birthday. I don't know who Jazz Prince is. I know that Chicago uh, guy, um, the, Jake, uh, the jeweler, uh, Duke the jeweler, was also... If I'm not mistaken, wasn't he in Houston? All right. Anyway, let's get to uh, let's get to uh, Deion Sanders. Shout out to Deion Sanders, man. And you know when you care for these youngsters, man, you gotta give them it, give it to them in the row, man. Give it to them in the row. All y'all leaving that hotel because it ain't happening until I give you further notice. So. Um, whatever her name is, whoever she is, parents, everybody, they're going to come to the hotel to visit you because y'all ain't leaving. Sooner or later, we got to start changing our addresses, guys. That's an analogy to saying, I know we this, but we ain't that. We got to leave that behind that we once did. And that's what you guys are. Now you guys are Jackson State royalty. I kick it with the same dudes you evolving into what God has called us to be and that's change you cannot kick it with the same dudes you kicked it with you cannot kick it with the multitude of women that you kick it with you cannot associate in the same realms that you associate with you're gonna have to change yes 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 um when you get older when you get to a certain age man some of your old street partners is still gonna call you they're going to, hey, man, let's go hang out. Hey, bro, hey, what you on, homie? What you doing, homie? Why ain't you called, homie? Where you at, homie? Man, when you get a, when you get a family, man, when you get 40 plus, 30 plus, even 25 plus, man, things got to change, man. Things got to change because just something is a stupid dice game. It probably was a loss of two, three, four hundred dollars and somebody lost their life. Even two, three thousand dollars. I don't even care if it's two, three million dollars. That ain't worth it. So, so a man has lost his life, and probably other people will lose their life because it may be some people going to jail for life behind this. And was it worth it? Absolutely not. Anyway, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Peace, y'all.